How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today our topic is on the original method of manifestation. In recent years, due to the success of The Secret, the Law of Attraction has enjoyed a mass revival and although it was good that the focus was generally on being more positive, it lacked a comprehensive understanding and also gave birth to many negative outcomes due to this. Instead of helping people become more free, it subtly enslaved people as well by enabling them to become more egotistical and the results promised did also not materialize for most. Now people's hopes and dreams are being exploited to the max in this day and age of social media by internet marketers turned self-improvement gurus a big part of that is that the teachings are so watered down in an effort to reach a big market that it focused only on the intellectual thinking process so it made people even more lopsided by neglecting the development of the other essential parts of our being. In The Secret, they rebranded something that has been taught for thousands of years as if they were sharing something revolutionary, something new. So today, I will briefly go into the art of prayer, which is the original method to manifest in our material reality and some of the key ideas and understanding missing from a lot of the mainstream ideas surrounding the law of attraction. So the essence of the idea of the law of attraction is that the universe responds to our requests and unfortunately many people are getting responses to requests they are unaware that they are making. This is because you don't attract what you want just by thinking about it. You attract what you are, which is to say that your being attracts your life. So what are you? What is it that even comprises your being? This is important for you to understand so that you know why you are getting what you are getting. You can then go from seeing only the effects to understanding the underlying causes. Because to think from causes requires more conscious thinking. Thinking from effects is just using our automatic energy that keeps us where we are by repeating the same patterns over and over. So what type of being do you possess? Intellectually, you may tell yourself that you want happiness but you may not clearly see how your laziness, your jealousies, etc. are asking for something quite different. You are putting out an incoherent message. And to make a proper request, you need to have in alignment your body, mind, and heart. Only self-knowledge will make you aware of your state of being. And we gain self-knowledge through proper objective self-observation like I always share on my channel. Now, in order to make a proper request through prayer, we first of all need to remember the whole of ourselves, which means we start by locating ourselves in time and space to become present to our presence. We can do this by training ourselves to increase the intensity of our ability to ground our attention in the sensation of the body this is the simple acknowledgement of our existence in this instant. We then pray from a state of total presence. Most people pray from their ordinary state, which is a state akin to semi-self-hypnosis. They are lost in the past or they are projecting themselves into the future. They are lost in a world of daydreams. And from this state, we cannot pray and our prayers won't be answered. Our words, our wishes are empty. In order for help to reach us from above, we must rise above our usual noisy state of consciousness and become more self-aware in a real sense, aware of being aware as presence. Then help may reach us, also known as divine grace. This requires that we purify and get into alignment our various functions of our being, getting our body, mind, and emotions on the same page. Right now, we may think one thing and feel and do another 
in total isolation from the other. When they get on the same page and cooperate with their own unique intelligence, we can then really be present and have the will to act out and follow the aim that we have set for ourselves. Most people are in a state of consciousness where they are confined only to one function at a time with various degrees of consciousness in that part, which means they cannot be simultaneously conscious of what they are thinking, feeling, and sensing moment to moment. So our conflicting energies that want to go in their own way prevent us from being present. When our thinking, feeling, and sensing are integrated and helping each other out, we can then be properly conscious of ourselves and conscious of what we are praying for with our entire being, with the presence and attention of our true will, the will of our big unchanging I. When most people pray, it is coming from their conditioned personality and their little I, their egoic mind, and we all know the endless petty and superficial selfish desires that come from our little eyes. So if you are going to pray, what is the best prayer? It is simply to pray for more understanding, to pray for enlightenment, to be able to see things and ourselves as we are. And in the current conditions that we find ourselves in the world, more understanding is truly what we need. So to sum up, here is the teaching from Jesus which encapsulates everything I have mentioned. All things whatsoever ye pray for and ask for, have faith that ye have received them, and ye shall have them. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please help me out. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and come back and I'll continue to share more ideas and practices that will help to get everything that I mentioned into alignment. Peace.